It's a beautiful last day of September here in my garden and I'm in a bit of a rush to get my tender plants into the dome before the cool temperatures arrive at the end of the week. I brought Kink with me out to the dome. He seems to be loving the new remodeling I've been doing out here. He's in luck because I have some catnip I've been growing. I grew it from seed. It's super easy to grow from seed. And isn't it something how cats just love catnip? Apparently there's an oil in this herb and when it's released, it kind of stimulates the cat and gives, it, gives the kitty a happy feeling apparently. Over the years, I've planted catnip in the landscape and hide cat and puppy traffic areas but when I give the cat some catnip I'm sure to give him just a leaf because it makes him happy. In the dome today I am moving containers in from the outside not necessarily planting them yet or putting them in their permanent spot where they will be for the winter, but just getting them in so they're safe with that cool weather that's on its way. Over the past week here, I've only harvested maybe one or two figs, amazing flavor still, off my fig tree here in the dome. But that's okay because there's still plenty of blooms coming on and it's nice and humid with temperatures in the mid 80s. So as you can see, the plants are loving it. I love this shelf right here. I've got rosemary, some succulents that I love, and um, I'm still working on a few shelves as you can tell, but it's coming together nice. Look at all these beautiful herbs. Some herbs I've picked up from garden centers who were giving them away free because it's the end of the season, and others I've grown out on my patio. I added this new umbrella to my dome. It's much easier to move around than my older umbrella I had in here. And it's still needed because we have days with full sun still here in September, which is kind of not normal, but I'm thankful for them. So the umbrella is providing some shade. Check this out. I have minnows and goldfish in these tanks of water now with healthy looking, um, what is this called, water lettuce and a few other water plants I can't wait to experiment with as the temperatures start to drop. Even in the dome, it's going to drop a little, but it will not get below freezing, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I've been dropping one or two of the koi fish pellets in here and it's kind of neat because they come up and nibble on it and I haven't seen any unhealthy fish so they're doing well so far. I like taking the water periodically and using it on my vegetables. I did notice my eggplant loved the drink of this fish water I gave it when I first planted it a couple of days ago. I'm starting to see why people who have fish tanks with plants in them have so much fun. It really is relaxing just watching and seeing how things change in the water. Here's my favorite fern. Seriously, I love this Kimberly fern variety I had on my porch last year and it they survived the, win the winter in the dome and I made this their permanent home here. There's my banana trees back there. I'll have to do another video just about them. And my turmeric, I've had this for two years. I have yet to harvest it because I've been learning about it. But it's doing really well next to the goji berry that I finally got a trellis hooked up. And it's loving it. Look at it. Look at all these berries. It's about time to harvest these. And once again, I need to do a whole nother video about these berries because they sure are a treasure. Can't snoop around back here without rubbing my patchouli leaf. Actually, I'm going to take one of these. I love the scent of fresh patchouli. I've had this plant growing in the dome now. It's the second summer. It survives the winter. Just have to be careful not to water it too much. And I'll be moving this over with the other herbs in the vertical farm I have set up. And look, just noticed there's a new one down here. Must have dropped a seed and replanted 
so cool. It's just a fun little section here with many of my, well, all my favorite plants. Everything from lavender here to a prickly cactus to my bananas, of course, and there's the fern again. It's just a really cool place to get away and enjoy. It's going to be a fun winter sharing my man Gavi. And look how huge the tea tree has gotten. I haven't harvested any of the oil yet. I'm just enjoying it. And succulent garden here. This will get moved because I've got a bunch of tropical hibiscus to move in. And look at this giant rosemary. It's basically a shrub back there. It's about three feet tall. And here, over here, I've got my Managavi collection being stored. I may make that its permanent home. We'll see. We'll see how they do in the dome here. I don't normally keep the ladder in the dome this long, but I'm considering lifting that agave plant up and hanging it. This is very sharp, unlike the Managavi collection, which do not have pokers. Well, I do have one that has little pokers on it. I think it's called the Tooth Fairy, but uh, it's, it's a monster. I'm not sure if everything will stay in this little garden I've got here. I've got some hot peppers and regular peppers, and you even saw some house plants that, uh, what is that, asparagus fern growing there, and of course, my Mangabi collection is going here. So we'll see, you'll have to stay tuned to follow how these grow throughout the autumn and winter season here in my dome. Aren't these gorgeous? I'm so excited to have these in my cactus collection. Kink's still hanging out here by this plant. You need to be really careful with these because I have read that these are poisonous. So I keep it right here so I can keep an eye on it when I have the pets with me. I just can't get over how beautiful my pond in the dome has been this year. I do have a blog post featuring what I did to the pond this year. If you're interested, I can share a link with you. And of course, I need to do an update and follow up to see how these plants are going to do during the winter season in the dome. But as for now, it's coming together nice and I love it. It's just so peaceful. Thanks so much for checking out my video today featuring the last day of September in my dome. I look forward to sharing more with you throughout the season, so be sure to check out my website at brenhaas.com where you'll find more.